H. How to raise capital. In order to raise capital, you need to design or have a good plan that continue to generate money before or at your absence. The exchange between these two, from income to asset, is positive. Rules of investment 1. Use other people's money. 2. Know the three types of income. 3. Get a financial education. 4. Invest for cash flow, passive income. 5. Investing isn't risky. 6. Raise capital. Rich Dad Poor Dad Lessons A. Life is the best teacher, some people play it safe, and some people play it hard. Those who play it safe let life take them where it wants, and those who play it hard, decide to take action. B. Poor work for money. Money work for the rich. C. The rich dad thinks that, it is out of fear that most people are working at a job. Fear of not having enough money. Fear of not paying their bills. Fear of being fired. Fear of starting over. That is why they accept the small pay, which is never sufficient to cover all their needs. D. The rich dad thinks, the government is eating up the employee's money. He says, you are taxed when you earn. You are taxed when you spend and, you are taxed when you save. E. Education is a lifetime job. The more you find out, the more you find out that you need to know. Get up, go to work, pay bills, increase the paycheck, they will do the same. The cycle repeating itself is called the rat race. Tell the truth to yourself, how you are feeling. Never let emotion things at your place. There are some rich people that are afraid of losing everything. Although they have plenty of money. Many rich people are afraid of not having money, but when they finally get the money, they are now afraid of losing it. Emotion equals energy in motion. Never let an emotion drive your thinking. F. Here is the pattern of a rich and a poor person. Poor. Income equals expense. Assets is less than liability. Rich. Income is greater than expense. Asset is greater than liability. If you do what the masses do, you get what the masses used to get. Financial IQ is based on the following. I. Accounting, financial literacy. 2. Investing, the science of money making more. 3. Understanding the market. 4. Law. Tax advantages. Individuals get taxed first, and they try to live on what is left. A business earns. Spend everything and get taxed on the remaining. It's one of the biggest legal tax loopholes. Protection from lawsuit. The rich invent money. School reward people who study more and more about less and less. Know a little about a lot is much more important. He recommends young people to seek work for what they would learn not what they will earn. Most people are afraid to invest, because whenever it comes to their thoughts, they act like the little chicken. When you know you ignore a subject, start educating yourself by finding an expert in the field or find a book, to learn more. The three most important management skills necessary to start your own business are A. Management of cash flow B. Management of people C. Management of personnel time. Important notes in paying yourself first. Don't get into debt in the first place. Keep your expenses low. Still pay yourself at the hard moment. Rich people worry about the following point when investing. I. How fast could I get my money back? 2. 
they also want to know what they get for free. A piece of action, or any benefit. 3. They only lose money that they can afford to lose. Robert Personal Advice We go to school to learn a profession, so we can work for money. It is my opinion that, it is also important to learn how to have money work for you. Never buy luxuries on credit, if your asset column is weak. Whenever you feel short or in need of something, give what you want first, and it will come back in buckets. I respect this thought of Robert. You make your profit when you are buying, not when you are selling, in some businesses like real estate and more. You look for buyers first before you look for sellers. Compare the deal, and strike the deal when good. Small people remain small, because they think small act alone or don't act at all. Action always beat in action. Your real wealth is measured by not what you have, but what you are. Napoleon Hill, thank you.